Hello everybody, welcome back to a uh, new episode of Earthbound. So, last time we fought Everdread, the guy in Berglund Park. We also explored Tucson, um, found out that Paula, uh, an important character, is missing and was probably kidnapped. Well, according to Everdread, he, she was kidnapped. We also talked to Applicant and Orange Kid. And um, that's about it. Um, we didn't do much else. So, what we're going to do now is that... there I know there is a tunnel. And we'll, we'll, we'll go see the, what the tunnel does in a minute. In fact... Let's, let's take the bus. Oop. Let's, t let's just take the bus and see what happens. Alright. Yep, this is bus to three, but I'm not sure if we can get there. The fare is two bucks. Alright. Wow, I'm running out of money. Yeah, it's nice. Nice music. The lag is pretty bad, sorry. Alright, so there's some ghosts. Now, eventually the ghosts are gonna bring us out of the tunnel. Yeah. Sorry, for some reason, the bus returned to Tucson. Yep. It's like I thought, okay, I'm starting to get to creeps. We're going back to the bus station. Do you want to get off here? Uh, let's just head back. And I'm going to cut this just because it takes a little bit of time. Okay. So, we're back here. People in Happy Happy Village are fanatical about a strange religion. Maybe they got some sort of bad fever. Be careful. If you go to the east, you could run into trouble. Peaceful Rest Valley and Happy Happy Village are waiting for you. I've also heard that there are UFOs in the Peaceful Rest Valley. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. I heard that a girl named Paula was kidnapped while helping out at the Polestar Preschool. Okay, so according to those guys, um, the East, which is where we're heading right now, is um, kind of a dangerous place. So let's um, keep checking this trail. And now we got a cave. Peaceful Rest Valley had to proceed through cave. All right, let's do this. Alright, so normal so far. And, uh, normal. Yeah, normal so far. Nice. Usually there's enemies in this cave, but I got lucky. Alright, so I guess this is close to the Peaceful Rest Valley. Hum dee 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 dum. I'm searching. I'm hunting for mushrooms. I'm going to collect a ton. Alright. Let's start with this guy. I'm not an enemy. I'm just a regular mole. Would you like to know how to survive battles? Nah, I'm good. Well, you seem to know a lot already. Even you don't like look like it. Oh, all right. We got some plants. Mobile sprout. Oh, this is Psy Magnet. I think you. I don't know if you guys have already seen that before, but it basically drains your psychic power, which obviously is not really a good thing. But all right. So if you head up here, uh, I don't like those enemies. I'm gonna avoid them for now. We we will encounter them, but I just I don't want to deal I don't want to deal with them. All right, let's. For some re weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. So we need some way to get rid of that in order to proceed. I don't know how that's gonna happen, but we'll f probably figure it out. All right, fine. Let's fight you. You confronted a little UFO. Fire to beam. Fire to beam. Alright, cool. He was destroyed. 223 experience. Yeah, the little UFO can uh, actually fire something called night night times night stuffiness or something like that. Basically it will give you a cold, which is a condition. And it sucks. Um, it's just kind of annoying because you gotta use healing or you gotta have um, cough syrup on you. 
Alright, let's just... Sow some seeds. If it sowed some seeds, that means that another sprout can show up. Alright, we killed the sprout anyway. Alright, cool. Okay, so let uh one minute. Okay, sorry, it's just I didn't we don't need to go through every fight. That's and that's probably how it's gonna be. Is that I'm gonna try to avoid fighting, like incorporating access fights. Like I mean I I I whoop, we got a call. Hello, this is the Apple Kid. I just finished working on the Great Invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Slam. Beep. Alright, so let so um, as I was saying, what was I saying? I don't wanna go through every fight. I'll present like the new enemies. But I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to uh, you know have show excess clips of fighting, because that's just a waste of time and energy. At least for you guys. I mean for me I have to do everything. But for you guys it's kind of a waste, so not really useful. So, what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm going to go to the hotel. Oh, let's fight this cop first. Alright, so, y y you know what the fight is with the cop. It's pretty basic, so I'm gonna finish this off real quick. Okay, we're back. Um, we just leveled up level 14, and now we just realized the power of paralysis. Which, um... Essentially, it allows us to um, paralyze enemies for long periods of time. It's actually very useful if it... Ah, uh, go away! Uh, okay. Sorry, just... I'm trying to reduce the... The time here. Alright, the hotel's down here. We're gonna go sleep at the hotel real quick. Oh, if you, if you even have the money, I think it's just 50 bucks. Let's see. Oh, nope. Welcome to the Alabama Tiller scene. Uh, 312. Nice. Okay. No, 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 no. Alright. Welcome to Hotel Tucson. Alright. Yes. Hi, Paula. I am Paula. Can you hear me calling you? Help! Come and help me. Um, I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. Ness, please help me. Alright, so... Paula... Apparently is having some troubles. Oh, let's talk to this guy. I'm gonna read a newspaper before you go. Here's the, this morning's Tucson Tribune headline. Ghost found to inhabit Tunnel to Threed. Let's talk to this guy. Now... He'll say what, but if you keep talking to him, so what, huh? Pardon? He'll eventually give you a couple bucks. So let's just keep talking to him. Hey you, later days, pal. Ha ha ha. It's so hot today. Rocks. Is it cold today? Ha ha ha. See ya. Here, get yourself a juice or something. Ka-ching. That's got $50. Yeah, that's just kind of a, a cool little uh, Easter, not really an Easter egg, but just a little secret. Kind of funny. Um, I'm gonna go talk to my father real quick. Okay, let's get going. P Paula, where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie. <laughs> All right, so the father of Paula, obviously, like, the information has kind of started to get to his head finally, and he's starting to realize that Paula is just not here anymore. So, and let's go find Apple Kid. And I know where he is. Like, you could walk to his house. But, I know he's in Berglund Park, so let's just go here. Ah, calm down, game. Alright. Let's talk to this guy. I'm feeling really out of it today because I've been working all night, but finally the pencil eraser. Oh, the pencil eraser, really. This machine will allocate all pencil-shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Here, here, it's yours now. Yes, got the pencil eraser. If I invent some other brilliant item, I'll call you. Okay. Um, get ready for the cut. Alright, we're back. So, now we're gonna head over to... If this would stop lag so much, sorry. We're gonna head over to, um, the east again, to, uh, Peaceful Rest Valley. 
Oh, let's see what this fa the father let's have with the father. Paul's not home yet. Ever died and Brigham apart might know something. Oh boy, no, I'm really worried. Um, well, we're already talked to Everdred, and he knows that, um, Paula got kidnapped. So, let's just head down to Peaceful Rest Valley. Uh, you know what, you know what it looks like when I, you know, the caves and stuff, so I'm just gonna skip through it. Okay, guys, so in the midst of fighting, I actually got mushroomized, which is what those mushroom guys do, is that basically a mushroom grows on top of your head, and the, and the controls get all whacked out, so... I'll show you what to do when you get mushroomized. Alright. So you just head over here and talk to this healer. Well, you may not believe it, I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Hey now! I noticed that you could sell me the growing mushroom the mushroom grow on top of your head. Come on, let's make a deal. Alright, yep. And you actually sell it for 50 bucks instead of um Oh no 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 no. Don't try me. Okay, so that was just um a little excerpt, but now let's get back to the peaceful rest valley. Okay guys, we're back. So, oh, sorry, mushroomized currently. Alright. So, I just realized that if you talk to this girl, um, you can actually, you actually take the mushroom away, so that helps. Alright, so we're back at uh, Peaceful Rest Valley. And really our goal is to essentially just um, make it through and get to Happy Happy Village. And what I'm hoping for is that there's I mean, what's probably going to happen is that I'm going to make qu quite a bit of cuts because a lot of these enemies, I recommend just skipping through them because they're kind of a pain to deal with. And look, we erased the pencils uh, statue. But anyway, so let's um, head over here. Alright, my magic butterfly made nice relax. Alright, so let's uh, keep walking. Hopefully we don't encounter something too bad. Okay, just that guy. And, I'm, and like I said, I'm going to try to ignore them for the most part. Because they're kind of a pain to deal with. Oh, nice. When you get green, nice thing about green is you can just run away. And that's what I'm going to do. Alright, nice. Alright, so let's just keep going. Oh, I think we... Did we get to the other side? I think we did get to the other side already. Manage butterfly mate, and that's relax. wonder who made the bridge impassable. Why would someone do this? Crud. So, oh! Ah! Tree! Uh, that's tree that when you fight him, like when you fight that tree, um, it'll actually explode on you. Which is not good, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try my best to avoid this guy. Go away, tree. All right, well, we can fight this guy. This guy ain't too bad. He's the spinning robo. All right, let's fight the spinning robo. First of all, let's also heal myself. Oh, shield alpha. Shield alpha doesn't do much. Shield alpha just reduces the... Well, raises your defense a little bit. All right, this guy kind of takes a while. All right, a beam. All right, Spinning Robo was defeated. All right, nice. 297 experience. All right, let's keep going. Keep checking along. Keep checking along. Hmm. How do I get away from this guy? Go away, go away, go away. Let's see if he'll just despawn. Go away! Ugh. Goodness. I know. I know. I. I know. I said I'll, I'll like showcase all the enemies but oh man I always go the wrong way right there but I don't really want to deal with that tree because the tree is really a pain like you have no idea because he'll blow up on you all right fine I'll showcase him oh sorry about that but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write a safe a safe state real quick so I'm gonna all right we're back um no I'm not gonna fight him because he blows up so I'm gonna try to run away vacuum attack oh So we're just going to try to keep running away, because this guy, like I said, this guy explodes. Brain shock. Oh, brain shock's not good. Brain shock confuses you. Alright. Alright, there we go. 
Sorry about that, but... Yeah, so you just saw the tree, and he doesn't do much besides vacuum, but when you kill him, he blows up, and... If you're at a... If you're not in a good space in your health, then that can lead to bad things, so... Let's get this butterfly to heal us. Nope, nope. Oh, okay, so we got a house. Oh, wrong way. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to fight this robo. Wait, yeah, I'm going to fight this robo real quick. Oh, wait, no. Apparently not. All right, I'm going to fight these guys then. Okay, everyone, welcome back. I just got rid of those guys. But now, as you can see, oop, I have a cold, and that's what happens when that guy uses it. And if you use healing, then you'll get over the cold. So not a big deal. All right, so now we got a cave here. Let's go through it. A little fishy. Oh, we got. Oh, we just got snakes. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, not even gonna fight that guy. That doesn't even work out. All right, so let's enter Happy Happy Village. And as you can see, the color palette's a little strange. There's a lot of bluish, bluish-looking colors. Let's talk to this lady. One day, Mr. Carpent Carpenter received a re revelation. He now speaks the real truth. Oh. Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Donate whatever you can. Alright. Um, I'll donate a dollar. Your good deed will be rewarded. Here's a postcard for you. Let's got the picture folks. Go and be happy. Oh. Let's see what this guy is. The insane cultist. Kinda looks like a clan member, but I guess that's kind of the joke. Part of the joke or something. Uh but he's blue instead of white, so... Alright! So we defeated this guy. Now, I'm not going to explore this town yet. In fact, I'm going to uh, go into this cave first. And um, mainly the reason is kind of just for like... To kind of pull off more of a thrilling atmosphere, I guess. Alright, so this is the house that we were looking for. Apparently there's crows here. I'm just gonna avoid them. Alright, so here she is. Here's Paula. Who? Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad to see you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have had to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door. You'll have to get the key from Carpenter. He's got it hidden away. I hear Carpenter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear the Franklin badge, okay? What? Do you want to get frightened by lightning? Get rid of something so I can give you the Franklin badge. Alright, um... Toothbrush. I don't need the toothbrush, that's for sure. Therefore, I knew you didn't arrest me, blah, 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 blah. You can open the door. He's got it hit away. Here's the Franklin badge, alright. So we got the Franklin badge. And the Franklin badge, we're only here till you return. Come back here and get me once you defeat Carpenter. Okay, so the Franklin badge just um, reflects lightning attacks or deflects, whatever you want to say. Um, but anyway, so that's it for this episode. So we discovered Paula, we discovered Happy Happy Village, we went through Peaceful Rest Valley, which is not fun. Look, I got I got actually pretty lucky, so <laughs> I didn't get killed or anything. But anyway, um, I'll see you next time. Um, I should have an outro. I don't know what my outro should be. Um, Alright, I guess I'll say Gabe signing off. Goodbye.